Now to go help Jennifer fix the megascope. I have a feeling we'll be teleported soon enough. Hmm. How far is it? Not far, it's just through here and up the stairs to the bedroom. I wonder what's down there. Cellars, maybe? Most likely. Doesn't really matter. Whoa! Oh, okay. Damn it, you piece of shit! Uh oh. <coughs> Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm. Why is that? <laughs> because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything. When the time is right. Now is the time. First we must finish our preparations. Always when the time is right. Don't trust us, do you? <laughs> you got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So I'd rather keep certain things secret. For the time being. Pretty tortured logic. Yeah. It seem that way now. But you'll understand in time. Heard what you did. <laughs> I shouldn't. Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew, but that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. <laughs> Yes, I know. You've lost your memory. Whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> Splendid. On to more pressing matters. What do I do? Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. Done it. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. And that is? As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Uh... Who, who do you plan to contact? It's a secret. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? No secret at all. Ida Emian. Remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly. A sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? Yes. <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. The sage and not so sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. You're welcome. Thank you for sharing. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Where did he put that? Potesta. Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. <laughs> Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, I wonder if um, Kira is here. Ah, one more thing. And the other guy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Huh. 
Find the source of the magical disturbance using the Protestacquisitor. Protestacquisitor. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it does look like the source of disturbance is down here. Now, before I continue on, I'm gonna guess that it is Kira Metz. And Metzen? Kira Metz? That is the source of the disturbance, or she is working on something that is the course of cause of disturbance. Can we talk? What about? I don't know. Nice to be together again. Nice to be together again, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Just missing Siri. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I had to change the subject. Heard a sentimental sob making its way up from your gut. <laughs> Any idea why she's returned? Shortest version. She's running from the wild hunt. Damn. Going gets tough and you need help, you can count on me. I've noticed that every single witcher has a scar in his later. face. Yeah, take care. He has one across his eye, or two, well there's three scars. Um, probably from a beer. Yeah, uh, girl there, one across his eye and one on his other, the other side of the face. And then there was um, the other guy who hunted the uh, Forktail. He has a scar covering half his face, and Siri has one as well. Vestemir, I think, doesn't have one. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Oop. I met with Emir. I met with Emir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Mm -hmm. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North. All of it fought together. Tamaria, Redania, Cadwin, Eden. And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in balance. Not much left of that world. Oh, it changes over time. See you later, Vesemir. That is both good and bad. Now, uh, Eskel, hello. Hmm. Impressive specimen. Hmm. A month of tracking, stalking, but I finally dropped a son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it, hang it above the mantle? <laughs> hmm. Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Wanna examine it thoroughly. Hmm. Clever. Let me have a look. Mind if I have a look? Want to do the honors? Sure, no, why not? You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. <laughs> okay, uh, let's examine its head. Let's examine its head. Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe. <clears throat> That's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Where? Mm -hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects, like magpies. And in the maw, yellow dull teeth. Missing its upper front teeth. Lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. <laughs> uh, open its guts. Why not? Open its gut. You might find something. So, anything interesting? Uh... Bits of undigested food, a few decades worth, looks like. Human oh. hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Want to give it Wait. to Yennefer? <laughs> it takes decades to digest her. food for the vampires? No. Wow. She only wears silver. That's her loss. <clears throat> Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. Oh. I fought one of those before. Let's take a look at the claws. Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred. Hundred ten years old. Hmm. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? <laughs> Long story. Tell you another time. Okay. That's enough for now. I think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one. Experienced. Mm. 
It'd be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. Mm -hmm. It would, I agree. But later. See you, Eskel. Yeah. Um, we need to find a source. I had totally forgotten about it, actually. Could be above. No. Oh, hello. Weapons repair kit? Sure, why not? Where is that source? Since no, I doubt it's a book. A ne necroman Necronomicon? <sighs> Where could it be? Hmm. Where is it? Oh, silly me. Uh, where is that item? I need to use the protest the inquisitor. I forgot. So, Yennefer found a volunteer to walk her. Ah, there you are. That's what you said it was. Wow, silly me. Disturbance is coming from there. <clears throat> What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves. <laughs> Just keep an eye on. Oh, he does have a few yes, scars. Uncle Vesemir. Above his uh, left eye and on his. Uh, How goes it? Chin. Vesemir's Cheek. not working you too hard, I hope. <laughs> Thurman. Thought so. <clears throat> All done. You can go. Thank you. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. I don't think they're not Nothing that here. great. Yes. Okay, I'll just um, run along over to Yen and we'll s I'll see you there. Hopefully. Don't go anywhere, okay? Good. And we are nearing the top. And hello. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope. <sighs> Putting my your ponytail, I suppose. <laughs> Does no shit about megascopes. You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so. Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. Enough. <laughs> Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Unlike you? Didn't sure. you just say you trust me? Stop <laughs> twisting my words. Ketnel Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynglade? Hello. Sure. Kedmil and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elen, Kedmil Foli, Gledev Don Eptenid, Bondro Isne Iachus. She doesn't like that. Know the dialect? Recognize the dialect? Lathan Undod. Meaning? The so called one speech, a forgotten language dating from before the migration. The migration? Later, Geralt. Okay. You heard the words before, haven't you? Take it you've heard the words before. Yes. In legends. Of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree. Agnes <clears throat> de Glanville's incantation. Combined with Elder's Triangle. Inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. Uh oh. Ah, uh, I guess you want something in return. Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade. I'd like to request 
Stop guessing. <laughs> Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end, or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. Wow. Well, thank you for that. Just what I needed. What was that about? The migration? What was that about? The migration? Good gods. Did they teach you no history? <coughs> no. Vesemir figured sword work would be more useful on the path. Can I answer me? Naturally. One's never too old to learn. Correct. The Ense and the NN elves were once one folk, the N Undod. Then came a cataclysm. No one knows its nature. The N Undod were forced to leave their world. They split along the way. So if Uma's curse was uttered in this Lath and Umdod. Then it's old. Very, very old. Uh, you understand that? Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Yeah, that if he years. Just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. Uh, what now? All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. What? 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 Wait, what? Uh. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone. You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. <laughs> well done, Geralt. Bravo. <sighs> oh, enough. All oh. is ready. <laughs> we should gather the others and begin. Okay, this will this will be interesting. <clears throat> Let's hope it uh, works out perfectly. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. <laughs> I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you. That's it. I don't know what you want to do when we haven't deigned to inform us, but it's not safe, is it? You should tell them before I Just do. Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What is this method? What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take <clears throat> Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we <laughs> will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion. I, uh, I will have to choose. I'm not anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn. With Uma? Or whoever hides inside him. Huh. <laughs> Just what I do to get the attention of my dogs. Clap my hands a little bit and they come. Why, Uma? <sighs> this must become grumpy old man. has gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Care Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword, and slammed the door on his way out. Didn't come back for a month. What now, though? What so, do we do? Got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. <laughs> David doesn't want to. Or we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Yep. Let's drink. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. 
Do we? Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. Sure. Wish me luck, guys. I might not come out as alive. <clears throat> All right. What did I do? This time? <laughs> no, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm -hmm. And what are we up to? I'm <laughs> sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow, you don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride, unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards, in an hour or two. Or oh, five minutes. Sounds great. Or three. I'll hold you to that. Well, I'll... Sorry, if you want to witness this, you have to buy the game. Well, they're well, done. Well. Lovebirds <laughs> decided to join us. Enjoy yourselves? You heard the answer to that question, Lambert. Besides, not our business. <laughs> uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Oh, where have you been, Lambert? What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract and land exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. <laughs> Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll. And a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. <sighs> might, might have spared a troll. Pragmatic as ever. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. <laughs> Eskolf is up. How do you get that catacan? Eskel, that catacan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A catacan? Haven't you seen the body? Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. Ah. Uh, you get the vampire? Of course it did. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. Ugh. Well, I... Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? Hmm. To tell. Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing <laughs> somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Uh. I was talking about Uma. We were talking about Uma, weren't we? The night <clears throat> is young. Got time to talk about everything. Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious. Let's talk. Yen, 
What do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. <laughs> Just like me. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only You'll fucking what? What? Don't react. Uh sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial because Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting or I will watch you suffer. <laughs> To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive, though? What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great. But we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. <clears throat> I doubt it. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years. <laughs> It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten. And that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert especially. But the hour is late. Lambert really disapproves of witchers. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow is an important day. Mm. He didn't choose that life. No, his father did. <laughs> didn't listen, <coughs> did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. <laughs> Pour us another. Bottoms up. I think there's someone at the door. Oh, he's gonna be wasted in the morning.